in and we are actually in Pike Place, but we're about to go find some good sushi, hopefully. Yes. Yay. <laughs> so we got some Thai food, which was still pretty delicious, but now we're on our way to go check out the Space Needle. Which I'm slightly terrified of, because I don't like heights. We're gonna go all the way up, or we're gonna try to. <laughs> I have no idea what this thing is, but it's cool. Alright, so we're getting ready to go up the space needle in a minute. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. It is 605 feet tall. Look at that thing. That's a long way up. Mark, who's excited? I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. All right, goes. feel free to get your cameras out there. Driving awesome through window. the days and nights. <laughs> Won't stop for traffic lights. And I Welcome aboard the elevator. You are currently traveling up at 10 miles an hour for approximately 41 seconds up to the observation deck, which sits up at 520 feet. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head. High. How do you feel? It's not as bad as I thought, but it is a long way up. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. So we're at Space Needle and we were so lucky and we got a table so we got a glass of wine and we're gonna enjoy this view. So, you said so this part is moving. My part is moving. This part is not moving. Yeah. Let's see. It's pretty cool. Veronica thought that that was moving and this was being still because it really kind of plays with your mind. Yeah. Because like you've seen the, the structure moving around you, it's just messing with my head. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool though. We have checked. Umi is open. Now we're going to Umi to get some sushi. That I've been craving for the whole trip now. We have a reservation, so we double check. Seattle's supposed to have some good sushi. is probably gonna happen because it closed in 10 minutes. The lady told us that maybe we might get served, maybe we might not. If not, then we will have to come <laughs> oh, back no, Saturday. No, no. <laughs> We're next. There's nobody in front of us. I think we'll get in. I might have to threaten the guy. <laughs> I got my order in. I'm gonna get my coffee at the first Starbucks ever. Oh, finally. 
finally we found our car. Rod, do you have the keys? No. <laughs> Just to ask the one. We heard this is the place where they actually throw the fish, like the real famous thing that they do in Seattle. That's something real popular that a lot of tourists like us come see in Seattle. But we heard they're not doing it right now because of COVID, but we're gonna come out here Saturday and who knows, we might get lucky, but my God, it smells straight up like fish over here. So this is definitely the spot. So after a very busy first day in Seattle, we decided to go back to the hotel and get some sleep. We want to get up early the next day to explore the Pike Place Market, which is a place where you can get everything from handcrafted goods to fresh cut flowers, all the way to freshly caught fish and everything in between. This is a really cool market to go see, and it's one of the oldest continuously operating farmer's markets in the U.S. We're here walking around. The guy just gave us some smoked some salmon to try, and it's so good. get some Starbucks coffee from the original Starbucks but look at then that line. yeah look at that line <laughs> that line is probably like 50 feet long I'm not standing in line for coffee but there is a Turkish delight restaurant right next to it and I love Turkish coffee as well thank you God, this smells so good. I can smell it through the mask so it's good <laughs> Disgusting. This would be a germaphobe's nightmare. It is. Oh my god. Someone thought that it's a cool idea to stick gum on the wall and then people follow it and that became public. This is. Yeah, Crazy. it's a thing. Yeah. It's actually a thing. There are people we're watching right now chew gum and just stick it on the wall. Yeah, it's, we're the only ones that did not do it. Kind of feel out of place right now. But yeah, I mean, I would, but we don't have gum. So I'm the full disclosure. I don't want to touch the wall. I don't want to touch the wall. Here's your Pike Place pig named Rachel and if you follow the footprints over here you will follow them to Billy, her cousin. So we are at the Gasworks Park. It used to be a gas plant and now turned into a recreational park and it's a pretty cool place. So the weather is good so there are a lot of people over here just hanging out and uh, from here you get a good city view. You can see the skitty city skyline. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. still at the Gasworks Park and the view is amazing and there's the city of Seattle and there's the Space Needle right there. for the weekend and you know we got lucky and we got a reservation at one of the restaurants called the pink door it had good reviews and we wanted to try it anyways but if you're coming here you have to make reservations like weeks in advance especially if the weather is nice like this is most restaurants that we wanted to try were already reserved and we couldn't find any tables there 
but we're excited to try Pink Door now, and this restaurant was kind of hard to find. There's no name anywhere, but there's just a Pink Door. Cheers. So we got the halibut special and it looked so good. We both got the same thing. And look at that. We're excited to try it. A biscuit basil cake. Look at this thing. Oh my god. Ah! That looks delicious. I'm so excited. I'm always excited with dessert and wine and coffee <laughs> and food. Pretty much everything. So we just got off the Ferris wheel. This is one of like the most iconic things I think you can do when you come to Seattle. This was awesome. So we're gonna go enjoy the city for a little while longer. It's our last night in Seattle. Last night. So this is our last night in Seattle. The trip, 17 days, has finally come to an end. And I couldn't think of a more perfect way to end it. It was a good trip. With the restrictions that we had due to COVID, we did as much as we could. So, but still, it was, it was amazing and we loved Seattle. So that's it from Seattle.